There's cotton on the outside and PUL on the inside. Um, if you have PUL that's printed on that you want to use as a single layer, you can do that. The, the entire diaper, um, this part here anyway, can be a single layer, but you'll need to add a stabilizing layer just around the snap area. And that is because PUL stretches quite a bit and those holes will tend to grow on you and then the snaps will shove through. So you'll need to add, and what I typically do is just cut a second layer of the PUL um, and just for from about here up. And so this entire section will be two layers of PUL and then this part will just be a single layer. Um, I do have an example to show you. This diaper here, uh, this is Babyville PUL from Joann's. And so it is a single layer. You'll notice that you can actually see that it's printed PUL. And so this is one layer through the diaper. So I've got this layer here, which is just on the outside, and then the part with the hole that we just cut out for the inside. Um, where the snaps are though, notice I've put a second layer of PUL. That is only to stabilize the snaps. Now you don't need to go down as far as I did. I went clear down to the middle, almost the middle of the diaper. And the reason I did that is because there's actually supposed to be another row of rise snaps. Um, but my little boy is too big for that rise and so I didn't even put those snaps in. I went ahead and left the PUL longer so that one day if I have another baby I will um, go ahead and put those three snaps in there and use that smaller rise.